as to where to begin. Someone places a hand on my shoulder. Hey, girly. I didn't know you were into this stuff. Aw, cute. It's my first time. What are you doing here? One of the girls from my roller derby days works here. She juggles fire now. Of course you did roller derby. I like you. Can we date Rachel? Rachel's super cool. She's my favorite character. She always sends a couple tickets my way. If I had known you wanted to come, I could have asked for another one. Another one? Who did you come with? Goodness, Rachel. This place is noisy. Aha. Uh -huh. What? You don't like it? It's just a lot more crowded than I expected. Oh, hello, Sean. Did Rachel invite you as well? <laughs> Rachel's like Megalamookie guy. <laughs> I swear, if we see Benito here, I know Flower Ducky. I won tickets. I'm glad you're here, though. I was a little afraid to come to a new place on my own. Girl, you got two tickets. Why didn't you call John? Well, you're not alone anymore. Rachel grabs me by the hand. Why didn't we invite our boyfriendo? Hook up with her and what's his face? I'm sure she'd be down. Who's what's his face? Hang with us. We need a third person to do the hero quest anyway. Oh shit, hero quest sounds great. Yeah, you're right. That does sound like fun, Sean. Sweet. Let me grab a quest card. Rachel bounds off into the crowd. In a few seconds, she returns with a printed card. I'm gonna move that up just a little bit so I stop peeking the mic. Let's see. Oh, first one of us has to get 10 points or more on the strength challenge. Easy. Of course it is. Rachel pantomimes rolling up her sleeves as she marches to the strength challenge. She lifts the hammer with both hands and slams it down. The weight flies through the air and rings the bell. Whoa. The man running the booth approaches with a small rubber stamp in his hand. Congratulations on passing the first challenge, brave warrior! Yeah, seriously, where is John? Run, run fairs are classy AF, where are you? He stamps the back of Rachel's hand. You and your friends need only complete two more tasks to finish your quest. Oh shit. Rachel reads off the card. Next challenge, brave the castle dungeon of horrors. The map on the card leads us to a dark building with fake blood dripping down the sides. Uh, not it? Very well. Selena sighs, but she actually looks pleased. She steps into the dark hallway and disappears into the shadows. A minute passes, and Selena still hasn't returned. Suddenly, a blood curdling scream echoes from the door. We glance at each other. What? What's that? Didn't sound like her. Selena exits the hall, looking as unperturbed as she always does. For a brief moment, Enough sunlight flashes into the hall for me to make out the shadowy occupants. Is it just my imagination, or was that an actor dressed as a ghost, trembling in fear? Dan's playing Fire Red in one sitting and about to finish, you're slightly distracted? What does that mean? What does it mean? Mental note, don't cross Selena, ever. Selena holds her hand out to the attendant. The attendant's too busy staring at Selena in shock to react. Stamp. Of course, milady. The attendant fumbles with the rubber stamp before making a mark on the back of Selena's hand. The woman points at a narrow rope bridge. Please continue your quest there. The three of us approach the bridge, and Rachel consults her quest card. And the final challenge is to cross over the bridge of riddles. All right. Now's our chance. Man dressed as a gesture greets us as we approach. Welcome, brave travelers. To the bridge of riddles. Oh shit. To cross the bridge, you must answer this one riddle. You said riddles and there's only one. All right. Rachel places a hand on my shoulder. Looks like you're up. You come to a fork in the road. One leads to your destination. The other to one ending pain. Sounds like it's destination time. And the fork stands a knight. Oh. A demon. Knights always tell the truth, and demons always lie. And you cannot tell which is which. You may ask a question of either of them, but you may only ask one. How are you question. doing this as a multiple what question? Do you do? Or does she just know the answer? Is this how we die in this game? If you die in the game, you die for real. Um, so it's like the question where you're like, which one of you lies? Or what, what way would the other guy tell me to go? 
so that they'd both tell you the wrong way so then you would go the right way that's the answer that's easy yeah I asked Swimlin which would the guy next to you say is the path to my destination whichever path he points to is the wrong one that is correct we did it I hold up my hand and the man marks the back with the stamp. Congratulations on completing the hero quest. And please enjoy the rest of the fair. Well, well done, Sean. Yeah, we did it. Okay, is that it though? He's just like, congrats? Don't be too impressed. It's just I've heard that riddle before. It's pretty common. Same. Same, same. Rachel gives me a good-natured slap on the back. I knew it would pay to have a total smarty on our team. You didn't cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. It's fine. It's a figurative bridge of riddles. It is a figurative bridge of riddles since we only actually had to be asked one riddle. If you say so. The three of us spend the rest of the day browsing various booths at the fair, having no impact at all in that we completed this little hero's quest thing other than the little stamps on the backs of our hands. By the time I get back to my room, I'm exhausted from the day's adventures. No boys? <laughs> I'm so offended at no boys. Would we have missed it if we didn't study as much as we did? That is an interesting question. Who knows? What do you guys think of the new episode? I did not see that coming. Vice is alive. I can't believe you set Katarina up as a murderer just to mess with her. We probably should have guessed that they wouldn't kill him off so easily. How did he fake the DNA evidence? I did that. Fatigue's only at 10. Sounds like it's time to give a boy some cupcakes. Hello? Nice go, um, we should, um, we should go to a coffee shop? We should go to a coffee shop? We see all the movies still. It hasn't, it'll tell us when there's new movies. And I feel like that's our cue to go back to the movie theater. Go to Cafe Diem. Should I bring a cupcake? Always. Gotta make more. And this is fine. It's got some major cavities. I like your outfit. It looks good on you. I know. I do my best. I brought you a cupcake. He likes you it. Make this ganache yourself. The texture is exquisite. Well done. There will be new movies. I assume there will be. There's always like new stuff in the stores and stuff like that it's worth it for love Recommend something to me. uh this time we can have the turkey sandwich as you wish he doesn't make conversation over that one so maybe the spinach and the scones are his favorite because that's the conversation starters always a pleasure Oh, we do have good money now. Um, we should study for one. What's our, our fatigue's only at 10. We're gonna work, so we gotta get our fashion up there. Oh, I guess. Sneezed and bit my tongue a little bit too. It's fine. It's fine. Our fatigue is really damn high. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, thank you, Scoom. Hey there, stranger. You're back from your tour pretty quick. Well, howdy. Haven't seen you around these parts before. Guess you'll just have to show me around, huh? Are you being flirty now? Sorry, you're on your own. Cold. <laughs> I never claimed to be a nice person. But in all seriousness, welcome back. It's been weird without you around. Want to stop by the coffee shop? Drinks are on me. I've been working a lot. I got, I got a lot of months. Sounds like a blast. Uh, all right, Kona coffee with cream and three sugars. You still take it like that, right? Always will. So how'd it go? Pretty good, actually. The crowds were even bigger than last year, if you can believe that. 
Oh, I believe it. Those palm fronds are coming out in full force. Palm fronds. Are the fans really calling themselves that? <laughs> Good. Yeah, Sean is so cute now, so charismatic. Could it also be because we've upped our charisma so much? Are we just like super charismatic? I know, I think that is just, it, that would be way too much writing. I think it's kind of cute. Well, if you like it, then I guess it's okay. And what about you? Oh, things have been pretty normal. As normal as they can be. Anyway, I feel like a jerk for cutting our reunion short, but I need sleep. Bad. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to tell you that the show, the show was cancelled. It's actually, um, it's, it's been kind of tough. It's, it's been kind of tough. I understand. I'm glad you came to see me before going to sleep. Of course I came to see you. It's been way too long since we saw each other. Palm fronds sounds like something I would come up with. It really does, Jen. But not even coffee can save me. I'm heading back. No problem. I'll see you later. Vice versus the penultimate episode. Why is the season almost over? Vice really did have a mole. How many times is the writers gonna mess with us? At least that explains the DNA of things got switched. I don't know if my heart can handle this. I'll wait for the finale. And you'll find out that there's never another one. I'm so sorry. I'm hoping the way it goes is like everyone revolts. And that it's like, no, there has to be more. Oh man, we could make more cupcakes or we could just try and close that sweet little gap right there. I'm passing out, have to go to bed, have fun. All right, Leisha, have a good one. No, he has a scar, not a mole. All right, what do you guys think? Make some cupcakes? Or just go on that sweet dato. I think the sweet dato might be enough. How is Matthew so high? <laughs> Why does Benito think we're so cool? What is the star business? We don't have any stars with John. What does it mean? How to get burned. How to get burned, what does it mean? If, if he doesn't also star us, is that gonna be bad? Is that gonna be bad? Does he just like love us too much? I don't understand. Date, we're so close to full hearts. I agree. Hello? Yeah. Um. I guess we're just back to coffee shop again until the movies switch over. There's a movie thread, so I assume that's what it'll tell me. Good afternoon, Miss Goodman. I like your outfit. Yeah, yeah, Good I place. know. We'll get a perfect afternoon tea. Uh, another perfect afternoon tea? Always. I hope you don't mind if I order, but <laughs> always a pleasure. I'm not gonna let you say the same thing every time. I'm like, just been on this date. I've seen there's like a friendship route for everyone and a romance one, so I think it's, oh, that, oh, that's really cute. That's really cute that you could have a friendship route. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> I like this game a lot. All right. Let's. Let's fuck it. You gotta work, 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 work. Right? You gotta work, 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 go to town. I have, I have a point to this. I should be leaving soon, but we gotta get full hearts with John. Well, I hope we can do it before you leave, Flowery Ducky. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I didn't sleep so good. Yeah, too bad we're not going on a friendship route with Adam, AKA our best friend. Yeah, shut it. It's fine, cause now we're gonna go to the mall. We're not gonna get clothing. We're gonna go brain some puzzles. Um, he said he wasn't really a fan, but he did enjoy the movie. Anyway. Oh, really? Shoot. 
I don't think any of these will bring down our stats. 